I want to give you a quick outline of this course and what you can expect in the course. So starting in section two, we briefly introduce the course and section three, we're going to talk about Dixon G. Watts and some of the trading lessons from him and an important concept he considers the principles of the art. And we're going to talk about that. And then we talk about in section four, some of these principles of the art, basically when in doubt, do nothing. So if you're unsure about going into the market, then do nothing. And then lecture seven, we get into the element of chance where we talk about how you're not going to be right 100% of this time in the stock market. And then lecture eight, we talk about not to take stock tips and how important that is that you come up with your own reasoning and your own methodology for the market. And section five, lecture nine through 12, we're going to talk about a couple of things in terms of sell stops and buy stops and how the principles, um, you learn in this course are going to be applicable in all the market, especially Dixon G. Watts, uh, mostly tr uh, traded in the commodities market. But the concepts and the principles he talks about is important and is applicable in all the markets. And lecture 12, we talk about holding for the long term and how important it is, is not to day trade, but to hold uh, the, the stocks for the long term. And in lecture six, we talk about more wisdoms uh, from Dixon G. Watts and some of the takeaways. And in section seven, we're going to get into Jesse Livermore, some of the trading lessons from Jesse Livermore. In terms of uh, section eight, we talk about uh, speculations. Speculation is about anticipating coming movements and, and absolutely let the market confirm your opinions. And in section nine, lecture 21 to 22, we talked about how you must have rules and the importance of patience. Section 10, we're going to talk about some more stock market techniques and the importance of staying with the stock and how to go about actually buying the stock. And section 11, we talk about knowing yourself and how you should not be in the market all the time just for the sake of being in the market. Because in lecture 28, we talk about how the markets are never wrong, how opinions are. And then lecture 29, we talk about creating a mechanical trading system. Now, section 12, the entire section 12, we talk about some of the personality assessments that you might be interested in uh, to become a better trader. Section 13, we talk about some more trading principles and definite trends, the importance of trends. And section 39, we talk about doing nothing. Sometimes it is better in the stock market to sit tight and not to do anything. Section 14, we talk about you don't, you may not need to know why something is happening. You might need to know, but the reasons that you're going to hear may not be accurate. And section 41, we're going to talk about how the stockbroker and you are going to be in two different sides of the stock market game. Section 42, we're going to talk about how shorting is can be dangerous. Section 15, we're going to get into how prices are never wrong and opinions often are. Section uh, Lecture 44, we talk about after buying, have the patience to wait to see how the stock is going to do. And Lecture 45, we talk about the movements of prices and looking at prices and the importance of prices. And again, Lecture 46, we talk about opinions, how that doesn't really matter. And se section, 40, section 16, Lecture 47 and 48, we talk about takeaways from this course and the next steps. Section 17, and section 18, we introduced two case studies of um, actual stocks. And so that's pretty much what's going to be covered in this class. So welcome to the course.